Yo guys, this is Formos here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, add screen pumps to your videos or montages. Uh, I'm a new recruit from Nikus, uh, you guys can go check out my channel in the description. And today I'll be showing you guys, you know, how to add screen pumps to your video. So what you need to do first is you need to go to the link in the description. Uh, it's going to be called Synchronizer version 3 plugin. It's basically a plugin for the screen pumps. So you're going to have to download it. It's uh, really quick. You also need a raw extractor or an extractor uh, and unzip it. Once it's unzipped, it's going to come up with uh, this file. It's going to show you uh, a file which says how to install and the Synchronizer v3 file. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually um, install this. So what you need to do first is you're going to right click. You're going to do options. Wait, right click on After Effects. Uh, go options, show in finder, and then you're gonna come up with this um, this tab. Uh, you're gonna have to click on presets, and then here, yeah, there's already a custom presets in my uh, folder because I already added it. So what you need to do is uh, new folder, and then just call it custom presets. I've already done that. So what you uh, what you need to do then is you have to double click on the custom presets file that you already made, and then drag in the synchronizer v3. Uh, basically I've already done it so there's really no point but you guys have to do that and after that uh, make sure you do that while After Effects is closed I've already like uh, I'm doing it for the sake of this video but okay all right once you've done installing the synchronizer you would want to go to your uh, composition that you've made uh, go to uh, your layer uh, you want to go to your layer new uh, adjustment layer uh, and then it's gonna come up here you're gonna want to drag it above all the other layers uh, uh, and then after that you would go to effects and presets and search up uh, the synchronizer so just put uh, sync or sync it'll already come up uh, and then you could put it here or you could put it in the adjustment layer it's gonna come up with all these settings what you want to do is uh, just close all of them by clicking one of these arrows uh, and then opening the first six so there and then uh, it's gonna come up with all these options. Okay, so uh, now uh, you're gonna have to go uh, to the BPM, uh, and you wanna adjust uh, this to the amount of BPM that your song has. Uh, my song has, uh, uh, I think, 156. Uh, you can go check that out in a website. Um, uh, so you could just put 156 here. Uh, and then uh, you're gonna basically uh, find the drop in your song. I've already done it here. I've just split the clip up. Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing for this adjustment layer. I'll just do uh, by splitting the clip. You could just do Command Shift D, uh, and then you could just delete uh, this one here. So now you've got the part where you want it to drop, uh, and also uh, you could find that out by opening it the from the audio wave. And just you know just inspecting the whole thing try find the drop after that you will want to go to the uh, you want to go to time of phase here um, and you want to try and make uh, this output uh, something here you're going to want you're going to want to change this part here to uh, as close as you want to a hundred so just try and mess around with it um, uh, mine is basically already in a hundred uh, but you could try, you know, mess around with it a bit uh, by just changing here. Just, you know, mess around with it. Uh, I think mine was already fine when it was zero. Uh, it's really close to 100, so basically the same thing. And then after that, you would want to go to um, uh, the range amplitude here uh, and make it about uh, 120. Uh, so it'll change it about 120 here in the output wick and then what you want to do is you want to go to the drop uh, so you know the time where everyone's partying yeah you would want to click uh, the this clock sign and then go back a few frames so one two three four five yeah and then you would want to change uh, it to zero uh, here you would want to change it to zero and then after that uh, you want to go to this transform here and just check this uh, button, you know, until it says FX and then you're done. Uh, so yeah, basically that's how you uh, do the synchronizer. So once you've done uh, 
basically finished doing the effect what you want to do is just uh, cut out the excess of the clip so just cut out the ending uh, and basically add it to the render queue so you can do composition uh, composition add to render queue <coughs> and then uh, yeah you could just uh, render it out uh, and then yeah I'll show you the end result uh, here thank you guys for watching make sure you hit the like button subscribe and I'll catch you later uh, subscribe to Nikus as well Get down, get down to the to the B side.